I don't know if you saw my last show, too. I did a bit about uh, all the uh, pillows on the bed and how it drives guys. <laughs> Remember that one, too? It was very popular. I was in Bed Bath & Beyond recently, down the aisle from me, I heard a couple having this exact argument, and the guy was really being mean to his wife. He was took it way too far, and he was just yelling at her. He's going, I don't know why we're spending all this money on these unnecessary decorations. You know we don't have money for these unnecessary decorations. The backsplash, the valance, the window treatments, this is a waste of money. I'm like, all right, that's enough. Anyway, a few minutes later, I'm out in the parking lot, I'm getting ready to leave. They come walking out together, they go over to his giant pickup truck that's jacked this high off the ground <laughs> with huge knobby tires and a chrome roll bar and a chrome running board and every piece of custom equipment you can put on a truck. I roll down the window go, hey man, I like your truck. He goes, thanks, bro. I go, it looks like you got that thing covered in unnecessary decorations. And I made eye contact with her and I know she would have married me. I've never seen such love in a woman's eyes. <laughs> I have a question about the big truck guys, and I don't know if we got any big truck guys in here tonight, but the two most macho things in our society, the AR-15 and the big giant truck, those are the things you can customize the most, am I right? Yeah, and let's not kid each other, that is decorating. <laughs> These are men that like to accessorize and decorate in ways that will appeal to and attract other men. <laughs> There's no other way to spin that, folks. The more they customize, the more their secret is out. Take down that rebel flag, run up the rainbow, be who you are.